Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Stronghold Free tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on the fourth campaign, The Pilgrim Road. So let's start. As a ruler, you want to inspire. People from all over the land have started hearing about our rebuilding process, about what we're doing here. They've heard that the Abbey needs work, and they're offering themselves to the cause. However, the roads have become beset by bandits, and people are scared to visit. Travellers have heard about the rebuilding and are curious to return and to see how the new Abbey progresses. However, they are beset along the road by the bandits that have become established there. Bring life back to the Red Horse Inn and protect the happy pilgrims from the bandits who would prey on them. Okay, normally I've been going through, you know, all of the campaigns on normal difficulty. For this one, I'm going to switch it to easy. The reason being is the bandit archers go in the trees and kill your people and you can't target them because they're hidden within the trees and your woodcutters can't cut the trees down because they kill them before they get near them. Now I have completed it in normal difficulty and you too, too can. You can too. But the thing is it's a very 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 long campaign uh, doing it like that. So I'm going to show you on easy because I need to make it much quicker. Even though it's going to be set to easy this can still be a very difficult or a very easy campaign. I'm going to show you how to make it easy. So if we go to hints and have a look at them <clears throat> you'll see that all of these give you different warnings and advice. The one that we will pay special attention to is for the sunny spells making sure we got wells. So let's start. Place your stockpile my lord. Okay now we've got to be very quick here no time to dawdle or waffle too much so we want to get our stockpile put down as quick as we can Sight your granary sire we want to get our granary put down as quick as we can what a fleet it okay. the house is select your troops it has certainly seen better days sire. send them north there's some work to can. do here for sure if we are to attract the number of pilgrims along this road whilst, that lady catherine desires whilst they're walking north get two woodcutters down one there Oh, for goodness sake. Look at that. And one there. Get two pig farms down. One there. And one there. Okay, now you can forget about your town. Focus on your... What? <clears throat> now you've been given... In easy you get four mace men, in normal you get two mace men. You will not be able to do what I'm about to show you in normal campaign. Um, in Sire, easy you can do Once we can get the village popularity high enough, pilgrims will set out for the abbey. We are limited in the types of food we can supply, so first task should be to restore ale supplies to the inn. Okay, so like I say, if you don't go and attack the bandit camp straight away, bandits will come over here, they'll go in these trees where you can't target them and they'll just harass you constantly. It is easy, it is still possible to, it is, you can beat the campaign still, but it just takes an extreme amount of time. Right, okay, once we get these close enough, we're keeping them with our lord at the moment so they can take some of the archery right damage. Move in. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Once we get so close, then we will Smash attack here so the. Rally to the Lord! He is under him. attack! Okay, and now what we need to do is take out these bandits, bandits sire. as quick as we can. Lady Catherine did warn us about them. We must protect the poor pilgrims. See, your, the mace men die quickly, that doesn't matter. They are there as a meat shield for your lord. Now he will dispatch them that they are, they're, now that they're in melee range. Get the spearmen as quick as you can. Don't let them walk off, otherwise they'll spear you. Okay, once that's dead, take him over to the archers. 
deal with them as quick as you can. All the time you're going to take damage. If you don't do it quickly, you will die. If you uh, go preoccupy yourself with your town building more buildings, you will die. You will not be able to do this. So you do this as quick as you can. You get them four structures built, then you focus on this tactic of rushing in and defeating them. Okay, now these can be difficult to attack if you let them get too close to the structure. What you have to do, walk him over to here and then in here, so he goes inside. Let's try this again. I just want to get him over here. We're doing very well with our health, oh he won't. Right, well I'll keep him there, see if it goes okay. We want to destroy this as quick as we can. Now they're going to start spawning. And Rally to the Lord. if they get he is close under enough, attack. you can attack them. Like so. You don't want to click. If you click, you'll bug it out. In other words, he won't attack this and he won't attack them. He'll just stand there and take damage. So once you've got him close enough here, leave him attacking. And you'll see... He'll make short work of the bandit camp. If you follow exactly what I show you, you will be do exactly the same. Oh, that one walked off. So. I just want him to destroy this bandit camp. If he comes near enough, my lord will attack him. Our hop plants are overrun with hop weevil. The crop is ruined, my lord. Right, now I've got two against me. But this time, he's dealing with one of them. You'll see it's a very ru close run thing, but if you do this, you'll see how easy you can make this campaign. Hurrah, yeah. sire! Our men have ended the bandits' reign of terror. The peasants are rejoicing. Right, okay. Next job for him, now that the bandits are taken care of, is you need to clear all of these ruins, because they're wasting a lot of space. Right, now we can focus on our town itself. Okay, so the first thing we do, get rid of the quarry. We won't need it. We, the only reason you need a quarry is if there are bandits. There aren't bandits, so we'll delete it. By doing so, we freed up three workers. What we will use them for now is another woodcutter's camp, and we'll place it down here. There we go. Sentiment is warm towards you, my liege. Okay, so that's enough money. We don't need taxes. We'll stop that. We don't want them to drink our alcohol because that's a part of the mission up here, so we'll stop them drinking that. We're still in positive, so it's good. Now, the next thing to do is we build a hovel. We get a large one. And now we will build some more pig farms. Two more for now. Now we will build a couple of hop farms. And a brewery. Okay, right. If we've got more workers, we will build two more pig farms. Yep, there we go. Right, so, wood allowing, we're going to get a couple more pig farms done. There's 
one. Oh, waiting for wood. Okay, while we're waiting for wood. Day, my lord. Ah, wells. That's what I forgot. Quickly put in your wells. If you don't, your place will burn down. One there. And one there. Phew, can't believe I forgot my wells. Okay, also put one down here. Like so, there. So you should have three wells in place. Right, let's carry on with the law, reclaiming this land. Okay, just so you know, if you don't take out the bandits, what happens is the pilgrims, these pilgrims here, they will walk up here and the bandits will kill them. So this will not go up. Successful pilgrimages. Fire has broken out in the castle, sire. Do so, we have enough wells to control the inferno? So another Buildings reason. Are aflame, my lord. Oh, stop talking. So for another reason, taking out the bandit camps is so your pilgrims can get up there. We don't worry about the fire because we've got free wells and they'll take care of it now. That's all you need, free wells strategically placed, north, south and in the middle, like I've done. Okay, let's carry on removing the ruins and make space for honour buildings, which is what we're going to need to do next. Okay, we've used up all bar one of our workers. So what we will do now is another large hovel, like so, and you guessed it, two more pig farms. We want six pig farms in total. What a lovely day it is today, sire. Question is, where will it let me put the other pig farm? Oh, I need wood. So let's carry on destroying these ruins. And then it will go here. There we go. Okay, so we've got six pig farms. That will be plenty of food. Two of these large hovels will be plenty of workers. So, now we need to just get these ruins cleared, because they're really in our way. Sentiment is warm towards you, my liege. Bats nests have been found in the granary, sire. We have had to destroy some food stocks. Okay, now we will start building our honour structures. So a hunter's post, won't fit in there, what about there, yep. One of each, that's what you will be doing, one of each. Some of them are quite small and you'll be able to get them in nice tight places. Oh, waiting for wood for that now. A royal visit, sire. A royal visit indeed. Oh, I am so excited. Okay, royal visit. Whack up your taxes. Like I say, we keep this. We have money just for if we go into the negative, so we can bribe them. Our populace. Okay, carry on removing the structures. Still waiting for a bit of wood for the tailors. Uh, stall. There we go, let's have the tailor. Will he go there? Yep, nice. Okay, next the apiary. And which I'll put over here. And last the vineyard. 
waiting for wood. So let's finish destroying these ruins. You notice we don't need no stone like I said. We don't really need money, it's just there as a backup in case uh, we get lots of uh, disasters. Okay, we're nearly done with the ruins. See, by whacking it up with the, the royal visit, you get a ton of money for reserve. Sentiment is warm towards you, my liege. Okay, can we do the apiary yet? No, not yet. Still waiting for a bit of wood, but that's being taken care of. Okay, now all of the ruins are destroyed, we can forget about the Lord. He served his purpose. Right, put the taxes down before we start losing people. We seem to be suffering a small crime wave, my liege. Some goods have been stolen from the stockpile. See, this is where now we need to do... Oops, not that one. Um, normal rations, and we want to do a small bribe. That puts you to there. People That's are unsure of you, sire. Okay, notice we still got workers around the campfire, so we're fine. Right, now let's do the vineyard, and then it's just a case of waiting for the honour goods. Right, okay, so looking up here, you can see we've got ale slowly going in. We've got pilgrims successfully making their trek. The honour uh, goods is what we're working on next. It takes a little while for these all to uh, get their first harvests. You can see that they take them to the keep. So once you've got your first row of big building uh, houses around, hovels around your keep, then put your honour goods around them because it's closer for them to get to the, to the keep. Okay, let's see how we're doing for ale. Right, time for another brewery. And we'll place it as close as we can to the stockpile. Like so. Right, that should now sail us through to victory. And I'm hoping now to beat it. See, I've got an extra challenge that I always try to do, which is to beat the timer. Beat the 30 minutes. At least we can enjoy the music while we wait. Okay, let's check our honour goods. So if you click on the keep and come down to the shield here, you see if we held a banquet, we'll get 48 honour. That's not enough. We will wait for the apiary. There you go, look at that. That's just put a load in. Look at that. See the big jump just by some of this apiary? Same for the vineyard. We'll wait for some wine. two workers left around the fire so what I could actually do is instead of just wasting them let's do another apiary and another vineyard swine fever has struck my lord our pig herd has been wiped out There we go. Sentiment is warm towards you, my lord. All my workers allocated. Ah, the bribe we don't need anymore. And that's why you have the money to get you out of negative popularity with the bribe. Okay, let's check now how much honour we can get. Oh, much better. Look at that. 320, and we haven't even got any wine yet. So we'll wait for a bit of wine to go in, and then I'll show you the jump.
He seems to be slacking here while he's jumping on them grapes. I think he's eating them rather than making them wine. Which is why we got two. Anyway, here we go. We're going to get some wine. And you'll see the jump. Look at that. Now we can hold a banquet. That's now got us 480 honour. So you're going to see this green bar shoot around. You can see the pilgrimage. I've uh, completed the pilgrimage. Pilgrimages. Uh, I've got enough ale, nearly. Just two more needed. There we go. Done. So done. Done. Just waiting for the honour goods now. The honour goods are very nearly done, in fact. Ah, wait a minute. What do I need? 900. Yes. Yeah, so I need <clears throat> another 420. So as soon as that says 420, we're good to go. Oh, some more wine. That's got to be good. The yokels do love their wine. There we go. Oh, look at that. I've nearly done it in one hit. And now you'll see this shoot all the way up. Uh, let's quickly save it. And that's number nine, I nearly forgot. There we go. Our hop plants are overrun with hop weevil. The crop is ruined, my dear. Yep, we beat the weevils. We are victorious, sire. And there you are. That's how you do that campaign within 30 minutes. Now, like I say, um, when you've done it on easy, then give it a go on normal. And um, whilst it is very difficult normal, it is still enjoyable and it is still easy to do. It just takes, it's not difficult, it just takes a long time because you've got to work with stone, you have to build barracks, you have to build um, armory, you have to build then the weapon builders which are just the uh, for maces. You don't get archers so you can't get the ones in the trees but you, you'll build south so you're away from them and they'll keep coming down and attacking. So anyway there we go, that's that completed. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.